Good evening. Hey, hi, good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, I'm evening. fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, um, we're happy that you are here. So we are really like glad that actually you are taking this course with us. So we're going to start in a minute. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, guys. So welcome once again. Welcome to Intermediate 2. Okay, so this one is going to be the second module. Um, first of all, we are going to start with the video that we need to share. Let me go ahead and share it with you. Let's watch this video, which is uh, from INSA4, okay? El INSA4 ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Ok, 
So welcome once again. I'm really happy that I can see some of you uh, that are, I would say, from the previous module. Okay, so good evening, uh, Vladimir. Okay, guys. So, well, we are going to start with today's agenda. We are going to start with um, the presentation, right? So I would like to know, because I can see that some of you are new. So we would like to know a little bit about you guys. And then we are going to present also the academic calendar. We are going to talk about different things that we need to cover today. We are going to cover grammar. We have the book right, the one that we're going to be using on this module as well, and we have a speaking time. So first of all, what we are going to talk about is the following, guys. Well, about me, okay? Um, some of you already know about me, so I've been an English teacher for around eight years now. I've been also an academic director. I'm working with different institutions, right? So I do have experience in the human resources department as well. Um, I also have experience in the call center industry and currently that I'm taking uh, some specialization on different things, right? So I'm happy that you are here and we are going to learn together. And basically guys, we are in intermediate too. So that means that we need to um, create this English environment, okay? So we are going to be practicing a lot. Um, some of you already know the dynamic of the class. So um, you know about the requirements, right, that we have. Uh, we need to have the full name once you actually connect to Zoom. So you need to have your full name because that is a requirement from Instafor. So please, if you don't have your full name right now, go ahead and add your full name. Okay, because I can see that some of you just have probably one name and your last name. So if you're so kind, please go ahead and add your full name. Okay, then we have uh, number two, which is listeners, right? So I'm pretty sure you guys that sometimes you're going to be busy, okay? And I'm going to say this in Spanish, okay? Because we are on the first class and I think that this is something that needs to be covered in a very accurate way, okay? Um, bien, recordemos los requerimientos de INSA4. Yes, um, we need to add the nombre completo. Ok, cuando nos conectemos a Zoom, por favor, agregar su nombre completo, ya que ese es un requerimiento de INSAFOR, ¿sí? Si usted eh, tiene su nombre, un nombre y un apellido, entonces eh, agregue su full name. Luego, en el caso de oyentes, en este caso, guys, es bien importante mencionar lo siguiente. Recordemos que las clases son para ustedes. Entonces, las clases se hacen eh, básicamente pensando en el estudiante. Eh, yo espero que en la mayor parte de todo este mes que vamos a estar juntos podamos participar eh, en todas las sesiones. Algunas veces ustedes van a estar eh, probablemente en su trabajo o probablemente eh, que estén un poquito ocupados. Sin embargo, les voy a solicitar que estén pendientes ya que los que han estado conmigo anteriormente pues sabemos que las clases son bien participativas y el objetivo es es que ustedes hablen el idioma, ya que estamos a un nivel intermedio 2, el uh, second module. So, eso significa que debemos de hablar lo más que podamos para cuando vayamos, eh, obviamente, pues, eh, subiendo de nivel, ya usted no se sienta como eh, perdido, ¿verdad? Porque el objetivo no es nada más obtener el diploma. ¿Verdad? Y, y tener el diploma y, y decir, ok, yo estudié inglés. El objetivo es que usted muestre con resultados, ¿verdad? Ese tiene que ser el objetivo. Ahora bien, la cámara, eh, yo sé que en algunas ocasiones a ustedes les da pena tal vez que lo vean o probablemente dicen, no, teacher, porque yo soy en mi casa y están va de pasar. Pero eh, es bien bonito cuando su compañero puede observar con quién está hablando. ¿Verdad? Es bien bonito poder ver con quién uno está hablando. Entonces, eh, la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión son requerimientos de INSAFOR. ¿Ok? Luego, eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Eh, eso es para no interrumpir eh, la sesión o la clase, ¿verdad? Para que podamos eh, tener, eh, no tener mucho background. Eh, luego, la participación activa. Que esto es básicamente algo, guys, que... Eh, es, pues ustedes saben que la participación debe de ser 
esencial porque eh, ya estamos pues adultos, ¿verdad? Entonces la participación tiene que ser activa. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que en ocasiones si uno pide la participación y se ha dado en muchos casos que uno ha pedido la participación y tal vez el estudiante está ocupado y no tiene ni cámara ni micrófono encendido. Entonces el maestro está preguntando, Are you there? Are you there? Entonces, yo espero que en este curso no pase eso, ya que es bien importante que estemos presentes, ¿verdad? En el curso, porque si usted decidió, ¿verdad? Tomar el curso es porque usted sabe que puede eh, dar, pues, el ancho en este curso. Y yo sé que lo puede dar porque está aquí. Entonces, la participación activa, ¿verdad? La participación activa. Luego, eh, la asistencia, bien, la asistencia eh, debe de ser el 100% de las clases, cumplir con los 120 minutos de la clase, esto genera asistencia efectiva en cada clase, ¿verdad? La asistencia en ocasiones se va a tomar eh, dos veces, eh, puede ser a las 8 y 20, puede ser la otra a las 9 y 40, y usted va a observar que en algunas veces, pues, como hacemos muchas actividades, probablemente se tomen en horas distintas, ¿verdad? No es que eh, se va a tomar exactamente a las 8 y 20. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al, al participante decir presente, ¿ok? En ese caso en inglés, ¿verdad? I'm here, present, etc. ¿Ok? Eh, bien, este es un valor agregado que INSAFOR, inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Damos que son las sesiones uno a uno. ¿Qué son las sesiones uno a uno? Bien, tenemos programado um, una sesión para cada uno de 10 minutos después de las 10 p.m. ¿Para qué se hace esto? Bien, el objetivo principal es para que usted pueda resolver todas las dudas que usted tiene, si usted no ha comprendido un tema, si usted quiere preguntarme acerca de algo que vio en el módulo 3 y no lo comprendió, si en la clase pues vimos algo que tampoco usted comprendió y usted pues no pudo preguntarme al momento de, de la clase, sino que esperó hasta después, ¿verdad? Ahí puede usted solventar todas las dudas que tenga y si no tiene dudas, de igual manera, pues preguntamos siempre algo, ¿verdad? Siempre eh, recordemos que el idioma se puede sacar provecho en cualquier situación. Entonces, si no hay preguntas, lo que hacemos es tener una conversación con la persona, ¿verdad? En este caso con el estudiante, para poder saber un poquito más de usted en el área eh, de estudios, ¿verdad? Luego, eh, permisos no disponibles. Eh, yo le voy a agradecer mucho que usted me, me notifique, ¿verdad? Cuando usted no vaya a poder tal vez conectarse a tiempo o que no vaya a estar eh, como activamente participando, sin embargo, yo no puedo otorgarle el permiso de decirle, ok, está bien, este día le voy a, poder, le voy a poner un permiso porque no va a poder estar en la clase. Entonces, no voy a poder yo hacer eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, es bien importante que usted eh, sí si me notifique porque es importante que yo sepa, pero que usted sepa que no puedo yo otorgarle permiso para faltar a clase, ¿ok? Luego, eh, bueno, lo de Zoom, ya todos sabemos, ya que hemos visto todos los, uh, los módulos, creo que la mayoría acá está desde el módulo 1, eh, y si hay alguien que es nuevo, pues es importante mencionarle esto. El botón debe estar en silencio, ¿qué quiere decir el micrófono? ¿Ok? It should be muted, ¿sí? Debe de estar en silencio, la cámara ya pues sabemos que tiene que estar encendida, ¿sí? Luego, eh, si tiene alguna pregunta, me puede levantar la mano en las reacciones que tiene Zoom y yo con mucho gusto le voy a ceder la palabra, ¿sí? Cuando usted tenga alguna pregunta, levanta la mano y yo pues eh, le cedo la palabra y si usted dice, no, yo no quiero hablar porque me da pena que me escuchen, entonces lo manda al chat, ¿sí? Y yo con mucho gusto le voy a responder su duda o pregunta que tenga y que la mande al chat. Luego, los break rooms, creo que ya todos estamos familiarizados con los break rooms, que son las salas, ¿verdad? Que, la, que, eh, que tenemos cuando nosotros practicamos. Bien, y con esto es importante también mencionarles desde el inicio cuál es el propósito de las break rooms, cuál es el propósito de nosotros trabajar en equipo. Bueno, principalmente es que ustedes puedan interactuar entre ustedes y puedan resolver ciertos eh, casos que nosotros planteamos durante la clase. 
¿sí? Es para que usted pueda interactuar con su compañero y que usted y su compañero se ayuden y practiquen. Entonces, no es, los breakout rooms no son para que nosotros eh, estemos en silencio y con la cámara apagada, ¿verdad? Es para que usted participe. Y recuerde que el tiempo es oro, ¿ok? Entonces, si usted de verdad toma en cuenta su tiempo, tiene que practicar y participar. Cuando los mandemos a los breakout rooms, tenemos que participar y tenemos que hacer lo posible por hacer que nuestro compañero participe, ¿sí? Puede hacer que usted... Eh, Uh, maybe you are going to talk to somebody that probably uh, that person does not have the same English level, right? And that will be kind of different and difficult sometimes. But what you need to do, guys, is that you need to go ahead and help your classmates. Si, si usted ve que su compañero, verdad, tal vez le cuesta algo que usted encuentra fácil, entonces ayúdele a su compañero. No es para decir, no, teacher, es que mi compañero, pues, yo no le entiendo. ¿Verdad? Es ahí donde surge el trabajo en equipo, donde usted tiene que ayudarle a su compañero. Y cuando usted está en los breakout rooms y usted quiera um, ask for help, ¿verdad? Entonces usted tiene que pedir ayuda. Si usted necesita ayuda y si en algún momento yo lo mando a un breakout room y usted está solito, yo no quiero que usted se quede solito todos los 20 minutos que están en, en, en speaking. Y después usted no practicó porque no había nadie en el breakout room, ¿verdad? Eso puede ser bueno para uh, si usted pues tal vez está descansando, ¿verdad? O tal vez eh, no quiere participar. Pero para mi clase es necesario que usted participe, ¿sí? Entonces si usted está solito en el breakout room, entonces pida ask for help en el botoncito y me dice, yo voy a llegar, teacher, yo estoy solo. O teacher, yo le hablo a mi compañero y mi compañero no me responde. Porque puede hacer que usted tenga problemas de internet. Puede hacer que su compañero se quede ahí, congelado. ¿Verdad? Entonces usted debe de notificarme para que yo pueda enviarlo a otro breakout room. ¿Sí? Eh, y bueno, respeto ante todo. ¿Verdad? Respeto ante todo, esto quiere decir el respeto desde que usted pues eh, practica con su compañero. Recuerde que eso es bien importante, ¿verdad? Que si su compañero le está hablando, que usted le conteste, ¿sí? Que no tenga su micrófono apagado y la cámara apagada y diga, no, no lo voy a contestar porque no quiero participar este día, ¿ok? O no lo voy a contestar porque no puedo hacer lo que, lo que han... Eh, puesto, ¿verdad? O lo que, o la actividad, no le comprendí. Entonces, si usted no comprende, pregunte, ¿sí? Eso es muy importante, que en mi clase usted pregunte, pregunte, si tiene dudas, si no le ha quedado claro la actividad que vamos a hacer, ask, ¿ok? Pregunte, eso es muy importante, ¿ok? Que usted pregunte. No por eso yo no lo voy a volver a explicar, le voy a explicar las veces que usted necesite que yo le explique. Ok, entonces pregunte. Luego, eh, bien, this is very important. Homework and evaluation. You know how that works, right? You know how that works. So we have week one, two, three, four, and five. And for each week, we have one section that we need to complete. Yeah. Sometimes um, decimos, el viernes la voy a hacer todo, ¿sí? El viernes o el sábado lo voy a hacer todo, ¿ok? Pero eso quiere decir que su progreso se va atrasando y cuando llegamos, cuando llegamos a la week five, a muchos les hace falta la week one, two, three, and four. Y en un día no vamos a completar todos los, ¿qué? 25 ejercicios que hay, cada ejercicio tiene ejercicios cortos, ¿verdad? Entonces, es bien importante que vayamos cada semana realizando todas las actividades que son por semana, ¿ok? No esperemos a que se nos acumulen todas las tareas y que después tengamos que eh, estar, ya hizo la tarea, por favor haga la tarea, ¿ok? Yo comprendo que todos trabajemos, pero hay que ser responsables con este curso, ¿ok? So, week one, week two, week three, week four, and five, and you can see the date, 
Yeah. So week one, that means from May 15th today to May 19th. Then we also have week two from May 22nd to May 26th. Week three from May 29th to June 2nd. And then we have from June 5th till June 9th. And then we have the last week, which is going to be from June 12th to June 16th. That is going to be um, the homework in, and evaluation information, okay? All right, very good. So now um, let me go ahead and share the academic calendar. The ones that already um, had classes with me, you know, like the way that I that I love to do my, my, my things, right? Which is very organized. So um, there you go. I already sent the link to this chat here in Zoom. You can go ahead and open it. Yeah, lo puede abrir. So I'm going to explain this to you, okay, for the new ones. Vaya, fíjese bien. Le he compartido este link. Este link es básicamente los que estuvieron conmigo en intermedio 1, pues era otra hoja de Excel. Esta es diferente, ¿ok? Porque ahora estamos en intermedio 2. Entonces, eh, esta hoja es básicamente como nuestro portal, ¿verdad? De nosotros, de estudiante y maestro. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Usted tiene su plataforma donde usted tiene que realizar sus ejercicios de inglés corporativo, INSAFOR, ¿sí? Pero acá tenemos nosotros este calendario académico, ¿para qué? Para que llevemos las clases ordenadas y usted tenga el acceso al material, el cual vamos a ir viendo clase por clase. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que yo siempre, una hora antes, a más tardar, Sí, una hora antes porque eh, siempre actualizo las cosas un poquito antes de la clase. Usted va a tener la clase. Donde usted ve aquí que dice Class 1, usted le da clic ahí y esto le va a abrir la clase de este día. Usted va a tener acceso a este PDF. ¿Por qué va a tener acceso? Porque hay muchas actividades que las va a hacer usted con su compañero. Entonces, tiene que abrir esta clase. Si usted se puede con conectar desde su computadora, pues este momento es ideal. ¿Por qué? Porque en la clase de inglés usted va a trabajar, va a estudiar. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Usted va a abrir el link que dice Class 1 y cuando usted ya vea la clase, usted va a ir observando por qué información vamos, ¿sí? Entonces, aquí ya vamos a comenzar. Después que les explique, ya vamos a empezar con la clase. Entonces, eh, también va a observar que tenemos diferentes exámenes, ¿sí? Esos exámenes son para que los tomemos en la clase. No es para que usted los tome fuera de la clase. No es para que usted lo tome en la tarde o en su tiempo libre. No, porque mi idea no es saturarlo a usted. La idea es que usted en la clase trabaje. Entonces, estos que dicen Listening Quiz 1, eh, dice Present Perfect Quiz 1, Educational Game, son links que usted va a utilizar en la clase cuando yo le diga. Vamos a tener diferentes tiempos donde vamos a hacer exámenes. Okay. ¿Para qué? Para evaluar el proceso de aprendizaje que usted está teniendo mediante vayamos avanzando en todos los temas que vamos a ver. Y este módulo es muy bonito porque vamos a ver muchos temas que probablemente pueden ser un poco complejos, sin embargo son muy pero muy útiles al hablar el idioma inglés. Entonces, eh, eso es básicamente, recuerde, esos exámenes los vamos a tomar en la clase. Todo lo que usted vea que es examen, todo, todo, todo. Yo voy a ir agregando diferentes links porque voy a ir como creando más exámenes y se los voy a ir poniendo por clase. Y en la clase lo vamos a tomar. ¿Ok? Ok, Carlos, I will. ¿Ok? Voy a mandar el link al WhatsApp para que usted lo pueda eh, abrir desde ahí también, para que usted lo tenga. ¿Ok? Bien. Basically, uh, that's pretty much all right, what I needed to cover. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, algo que no comprenda. Ahora, eh, también lo que tal vez le puedo recomendar es que yo sé que en ocasiones es bien como difícil eh, como compartir o, o darse a entender o, o eh, 
interpretar sus ideas en el idioma inglés, pero eso no quiere decir que usted me va a hablar en, en, en español, ¿ok? Eso quiere decir que entonces usted va a tomar más la iniciativa y va a tratar de buscar opciones de cómo hablar en inglés, ¿sí? Eh, ok, Abigail, dígame. Va a solo comentar. Yes. En el módulo anterior, el teacher solo se dedicaba a meterlo a esos rooms pequeños. Entonces, habían bastantes que no participaba. Salíamos de uno y lo volvíamos a meter. Y en, todo, en todas las clases, todas las clases solo era entrar, salir, entrar, salir. Entonces, yo sentí de que el teacher no era como un apoyo. Así, porque si estaba en otro grupo no podía estar conmigo, entonces mi duda no me solventaba. Entonces me gustaría que este módulo, es, es bueno reunirlo así en grupos pequeños para compartir ideas, pero pasar todo el tiempo, las dos horas, así yo siento que no es muy eficiente. Ok, Abigail, usted se va a dar cuenta que en la clase va a ser súper distinto y en esta clase usted sí va a participar, Abigail, ¿ok? Entonces no se preocupe. Ahora. Eh, en el chat les he mandado el link del de traductor, ¿sí? En mi clase yo no le voy a aceptar que usted me diga, teacher, no sé cómo se dice tal cosa. Ahí está el link del traductor. Y no le he dado el traductor de Google Translator. Le he dado el traductor donde usted puede interpretar sus ideas de la mejor manera, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, basically, guys, that's pretty much. Ahora bien. Vuelvo y hago la mención. Si usted tiene dudas, ¿ok? Pregunte, pregunte. El maestro no puede ser adivino y va a decir, ok, eh, ella tiene alguna duda o él tiene dudas. Si usted no pregunta, las preguntas se le quedan a usted. Entonces el maestro no va a tener la culpa, ¿ok? El estudiante que debe de tomar la iniciativa de preguntar porque son sus dudas. Son sus dudas, ¿ok? Entonces, eso es bien importante que por favor pregunte, ¿ok? Y a mí me gusta que me pregunte, porque yo sí pregunto también. Entonces, así usted me tiene que preguntar a mí, ¿ok? Bien. Eh, do you have any other question, any other doubt? Something that is not clear, guys? Um, let me ask you something, guys. Do you already have the link for the platform? Yeah, I, I think that you already have it, right? On the WhatsApp group. I think that, yes, you already have it right there. Okay. Well, if you have questions or something, ask. Okay, ask. Bien, guys. Let's start then and let me ask you, okay? What are your expectations of this module? I would like to know what are your expectations because as a teacher, I have expectations. Yeah? But what about you as students? What are your expectations? Okay, so I need some volunteers and if not, let's go one by one. No volunteers? Okay. So let's see. We are going to start with, um, okay, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Yes, Atilio, can you please let us know what are your expectations of this module? Um, What are your expectations? In my class, um, continue um, 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 learning. Okay. Continue learning. Um, model. Uh, um, model. Okay, thank you. So yeah. continue learning. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you, Atilio. Okay, um, let me see. Aleida Maya. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening, Alida. Nice to meet you because it's my first time with you in the in this program. Perfect. Um, I think my expectations for this uh, course, I really like to improve my fluency, my vocabulary, um, maybe my grammar too, because sometimes I have some confusion yeah. for the way, uh, the correct way to use some um, maybe verbs or specifically the, the grammar, the grammar, mm -hmm. the fluency and the vocabulary. That is very important for me. Perfect. Thank you, Alida. Uh, what about you, Abigail? <laughs> mm, I expect mm, this model. I learn new vocabulary and practice the English. Uh -huh. mm, that's it. Okay, thank you. Maurice, what about you? And I get the question. His mother is learn something new or different. Okay. And have a more fluency when speaking. Perfect. All right. Uh, what about you, Carlos Omar? Carlos, Omar. Oh, you are on mute. Oh, yes. Sorry. Uh, hello. Uh, my in my case, uh, my expectation in this model is learn more about the the activities of the world and to mm -hmm. improve uh, my my vocabulary and grammar. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Um, what about you, Emerson? Hello, teacher. Hello. It's a pleasure to see you all again. My pleasure, yes. Well, uh, this model, I, I, use, I wait to uh, improve. I just improved my speaking abilities and knowledge. And Great. also to available to establish conversation correctly. Perfect. Thank you, Emerson. All right. So let me see. Roberto Esau. Roberto Esau, Celaya Argumedo. No? Okay. Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Mm, my expectation probably is get a better um, grammar, get uh, more loudness about uh, make a good conversation with people because I think I need more grammar to to change the 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 form I think in English. Okay, all right, perfect. Thank you, Luis Miguel. Uh, okay, so let me see. What about you, Juan Jose? What are your expectations of this model? Yes. Okay, I, I want to continue learning and practice other topic and uh, learn, learn more. <laughs> yes. Okay. Absolutely. So, guys, um, as I said before, um, on this module we are going to cover different topics which are really, but really important, and you will see. Okay. So, right now, let me ask uh, this. All right. Can you please find six the six words hidden in the picture? Miro, 
Mirror is the first one. Okay, very good. Um, tiles. Tiles, very good. Child. Um, board. Okay. Where? Couch. Okay. Well, couch. 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 The couch. Yes. Mm, board. board. Back in the board. 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 Okay. We have four. Cat in the cat. tail of the cat. We have five. In the, no sé cómo se pronuncia la escoba. Straw. Straw, yes. The straw. So, yes, very good. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue. Okay. Uh, let me just clear all of that. Okay, guys, let me ask. Nelly, um, let me ask you something, okay? Think of some special experiences you hope to have in the future. Can you please tell me a place you would like to go and why? I would like to go to uh, Paris. Okay. And because I want to um, know or meet um, Eiffel, Torre Eiffel. Okay, the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Eiffel Tower, yes. Okay. Okay, very good. All right. What about you, Abigail? Uh, I would like to go to... Um, South Korea. South Korea? Mm. Torre Seoul. Okay. All right. Why? Why why would you like to go there? Learn. Why would oh, you like to go there? Mm. Um I see in the Korean opera, it's mm -hmm. beautiful view. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So what about uh, Carlos Omar? Tell us about something you would like to do. Uh, in my space, in my place, I like to go to Iceland. Okay, to an island? Islands, yes, because uh, I I watch in the YouTube the videos, mm -hmm. uh, the limescale, the iceberg, uh, the black beach. It's so beautiful. Okay, where in Jamaica? Jamaica. In the Caribbean. Excuse me. In the Caribbean? Uh, no, uh, Iceland. Uh, uh, next oh. week, I go oh. to Roatan. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got Iceland. It. Yeah. Okay. So I think that you you mean island, como una isla. Yes, uh, Islandia. Iceland. No. Iceland. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Roatan Isle. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um. All right, guys. So let me ask. Um, Maurice, can you please let us know something that you would love to see? Well, well, uh, I like to see uh, this picture in the Maria China, the Great Wall of China. Great what? What? Wall of China. Okay. That's the name, okay? Great, 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 yeah. Great Wall of China. Great Wall. Great Wall of China. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah, it will be interesting. It will be interesting. Perfect. All right. Um, Emerson. 
Can you please let us know someone you would like to meet? In my case, I would like a uh, note meet uh, Simon Simon. This is a vocalist of the, of the group of rock. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. And what about you, Juan? Juan Jose? Okay. I would like to know. I don't remember the name. It's a uh, player, guitar player, Steve uh -huh. Bay. I okay. would like to know to Steve Bay. Okay, I would like to meet, okay? To meet. Yes, to meet right. Steve Bay. Okay, very good. All right, somebody else that wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes, no? me, sir. I would okay. like to make a travel with the cruise line uh, okay. to, to meet the iceberg in, in Alaska or or to to make a trip in the Caribbean. That would be great, right? Yes, relaxing. Yes, of course. All right, very good. All right, guys, let's continue. Okay, let's continue and let's start with the first um, pages okay, of the book. And we are going to talk about product development. Okay, so that is the name of the unit. So we are going to start by talking about the following. Okay, so we have a short dialogue right there. Um, so can I have two volunteers? One is going to be Rodrigo and the other one is going to be Edgar. If you want, you can raise your hand, okay? Abigail, you are Rodrigo? And okay. Tony, you are Edgar. Okay. Hi, Edgar. Okay. I wonder if you call give Give me some pointers to play the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down an idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Ana analysis. Ana analysis. 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 Uh -huh. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just Give me time and I will teach you how to do it. How to do it, okay? Um, just this one, uh, Tony, analysis, okay? Analysis, oh, okay. Yes, analysis. All right, guys. Well, um, as you can see right here on this dialogue, what we have basically is some important information about product development. So now let me ask you something, all right? How important it is to plan the development of a new product? How important is it? What do you think? What is product development? Desarrollar productos. Okay. Yes, that is in Spanish, but now... What is in English? To what create is... a new product okay. or any requests for the company, for the people. Okay. And how important is it to plan the development? It's, it's too important because you find the the como se, the necesidades the the needs the needs the of the company or, or people okay 
uh, you draft your plan and, mm -hmm. and follow, okay. follow that. Very good. And okay, somebody else, what happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Probably, what you, probably you had a mistake with the product. Okay, you will have mistakes. Uh -huh. What else might happen? What else, guys? Uh, maybe uh, no uh, asset by the customer. Maybe it will not be accepted by the customer. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, to the price of the product, uh, uh, maybe it's, uh, uh, no. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Uh, the price uh, no sería el, el correcto, digamos. Okay. It wouldn't be the adequate. Yes. Mm, yes, that is true. I mean, you you can like uh, have a lot of mistakes, right? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, that is I correct. have one example. Yes. When Steve Jobs developed the Lisa Lisa computer, yeah, he, he has a lot of mistakes with the cost of the product because he he think in in his need know the market the needs. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. And how do we call um how do we call the strategy that we need to implement to find out mm, the information that we need to be able to launch a product? There is a name. There is something that we need to do in order for us to know the customer's needs. Investigation. Okay. Survey. Mm, very good. So that is going to be to be the market research. That's the, mm -hmm. the name, market research, market right? Research. Mm -hmm. That is the name of that strategy. And that is correct, the market research. That's what probably he didn't do, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, guys. Now let's go ahead and move to this. So we have some questions, right? Number one, do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Why or why not? According to this conversation. Let's read it again. You alone and give me the answer. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the course by himself? No, teacher. Why not? I think because he doesn't know where to start. And he is asking help um, to Edgar. Very good. He doesn't know where to start. That is correct. So he won't be able, right? Okay. Now, number two, what is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? What is the process? What is the step of the product development that he is struggling with? Idea. Right, idea. Yes, it would be the first idea. I mean, okay. it says, I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. He doesn't know any type. He doesn't have any type of idea. He doesn't know anything. He right? don't have he don't have experience do that. Yes, he doesn't have. It yeah, have... ideas. In Spanish, it's not ideas. The brainstorming. The brainstorming. Yeah, okay. brainstorming. Brainstorm. Yeah. Yes, the brainstorming. That is correct. Very good. And what about number three? Luis Miguel, can you please help, help us reading number three and give us uh, your opinion, okay? What is say? What is the should Rodrigo take after in the target? Mm 
Let me think. Yes. That's the name. Brainstorming. Okay. La lluvia de ideas. Yes. What stage should Rodrigo take after identify the target market for the new product? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Testing the business analysis. The business analysis. Analysis. Okay. Yes. Very good. All right. So let's move. Okay. Let's move. Well, right now, about this, okay, we are going to stop right here and we are going to continue with the grammar. Tomorrow, we are going to cover this type of information. Okay. We are going to learn about different type of definitions. But right now, we are going to start with the main topic, which is the present perfect. What do you know about the present perfect tense? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I, I no, yes, you can hear me. Uh, yes, yes. Bit with difficult. You have difficult with the Yes, I think that is like lagging. Okay, what about now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay so, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to turn off my camera just for a while, right? Just to get the internet stability, right? So, okay, guys, what do you know about the present perfect? What is it? Nobody? That's the activities that we do with normally. Okay, things that we normally do? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So let's see. Uh, Jose, can you please help us reading this slide? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes. Present perfect. We use the present perfect to talk about the past, but it has a link to the present. For past action that has a result in the present, he has broken his leg. Okay, perfect. So, guys, the present perfect tense is um, the tense that helps us to talk about the past, but those situations about the past they do have relationship with our present and we have this example okay so the past action that has a result in the present he has broken his leg yeah so he broke his leg in the past but actually we can see the evidence right so he has broken his leg then we also have the second usage. Can you please help us reading that, Luis Miguel? For general, this, for general past experience. Yes. For general past experience, which are still true in my life up to now, he has, he has had four music kits so far. Yes. Very good. So for general past experiences, which are still true. Yeah, so he has had for a music geek so far. What is the meaning of geeks? I don't know. All right. So geeks, guys. Concert. Concerts. All right. Conciertos. Yes. Concerts. Very good. Okay. So then we also have the structure, which is the most important part because this is about grammar, okay? So as you can see right here, we have positive oh, sentences, we have negative sentences, and we also have questions, 
Yes. So for the positive sentence, okay, for the positive sentence, we have subject or have, yes, or has, in this case, which is the auxiliary verb for the present perfect tense, verb in past participle and complement. Yeah, and we have the example. I have seen that movie two times. Yeah, when do we use have and when do we use has? We use have for which pronouns? For the third person teacher. Oh, well, not exactly, Aleida. Singular. Yes, have is for I, you, we, and they. I, you, we, and they, yes? Have, okay? So, in this case, we have I, you, we, and they. The auxiliary verb is going to be have. And then we also have the third person. So with the third person, we are going to use he, she, he, and uh, it. it. Yes. And the auxiliary verb should be has. Okay. That's why we have have slash has, because it depends on your subject. All right. With the negative sentence, what we have, guys, is the subject have not or has not verb in past participle and the complement. And we have the example. You have not seen that movie before. Teacher, and in the negative, can we use contractions? Yes, right? So we can have haven't or hasn't, yes? So it should be haven't, yes? Or it could be hasn't for the negatives, yeah? Very good, and it follows the same rule, all right? So we use haven't for I, you, we, they, and hasn't for he, she, and it. Then we have the question. We have have, slash has, it depends on your subject, verb in past participle and complement. And we have something very important that you shouldn't forget because we are talking about questions, the question mark, yeah? So we have, have you ever seen that movie before? Yeah, have you ever seen that movie before? Okay. So this is about the structure, yes? This is about the structure. And which is more important than anything else is the verb in past participle. Yes, that is the most important part. Verb in past participle, yes? All right, so now, do you have any doubt right now? Do you have any question? Something that is not clear? Any doubt? No, teacher. Not right now? Okay, very good. So now let's move and let's talk about the time expressions. For this tense, as you remember, guys, for the present simple, for the past simple, we have time expressions. So for the present perfect, we also have time expressions, yeah? So, um, Tony, can you please help us uh, reading all of them? Okay, teacher, problem. Unfinished time expression. This week, this year, mm -hmm. already, yes. since 1998, recently, for two months, lately, ever, all his life, yet. Okay. Today, tonight, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, just, never, how long, and so far. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Thank you. All right. So as you may see right here, we have different time expressions that we can use with the present perfect tense. Okay. So we have this week. This week means esta semana. This year, este año. Already. Ya. Yes. Since. Desde. Since 1998. Recently. Mm -hmm. Recientemente. Yes. For two months. Por dos meses. Lately. Ultimamente. Ultimamente. Thank you. So ever. Siempre. Ever could mean siempre or it could mean alguna, ¿Alguna vez. Alguna vez. Muy bien. Puede significar siempre o alguna vez. It depends on the context. Depende de la idea. All his life, toda su vida. Yet, aún, or, todavía. Today, you know what that is. Tonight, you know what that is. This morning, you know what that is. This afternoon, esta tarde. This evening. Just, justo, justo, just now, justo ahora. Never, nunca, jamás. How long? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Ajá, por cuánto, por cuánto tiempo o cuánto tiempo. How long? And so far? No, déjalo. So far? Hasta el momento. Hasta el momento. So far. Far es lejano. Far. Far es lejano. Pero so far. Hasta el momento. Hasta la fecha. Hasta ahora. Yes. Those are time expressions that we can use at the end of the sentence. Yes. So, for example. If we want to say, me he comido tres manzanas hasta el momento. I have, I have, participle of it. Pasado participio de it, guys. Eaten. 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 Yes. So I have eaten three, three apples, apples so, far. so far. Correct. Yo he estudiado tres meses hasta el momento. Hasta la fecha. I have been studying three months uh, so far. No. I, mira la estructura. I have. I have. Studied. 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 For three months so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ella me ha pedido que envíe el reporte tres veces hasta el momento. Ella me ha pedido que envíe el reporte tres veces hasta el momento. Ella me ha pedido que envíe reporte tres veces hasta el momento. Uh -huh. She. She has. 
She asked had me. asked me. She has me. She has asked me to send the report three times so far. Hmm. Okay. She has, she has me. She has asked me. She asked. has, has, she has uh, asked me. Yes, she has asked me. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. The last one. Okay. La última. Um, let me see. Nosotros hemos estado en clase por una hora hasta el momento. We have uh -huh. been. Okay, we have been. For one in class hour. For one hour. Uh, so far. Okay, we have been in this class for one hour so far. Perfect. All right, guys. So right now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, so please say present once you hear your name. Remember to turn on your camera. Okay, turn on your camera. Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Here, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson Ulises. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. Jonathan. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Kenia. No. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Yes. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Raúl Antonio. Ok. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Ok. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Tatiana Ivonne. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Ok. Thank you. And Wilber Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Wilber Jonathan. No? All right, guys. Let's continue. So, teacher, eh, perdón, teacher. A uh, mí no me mencionó. Eh, let me see. Juan José. Sí. Let me see, Juan José. Ok. Mm. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Yes, present. Ok, thank you. All right, guys. Let's move. All right. So we also have two time expressions that are really, really important. And those are for and since, yeah? So we use for, for a period, and since, for a point. Okay, so let's see. Wendy, 
help us reading all of this? Hello, teacher. Yes, when read all of this. For a period from start to end, for ten minutes, or three days, mm -hmm. for six months, or for years, for two centuries, for a long time, forever. Okay. Thanks, I come from the to new. Five. Sins. Perdón. Sins. Sins. Nine. Nine. I am. Okay. Uh, Sins Monday. Sins. Sins Monday. Sins January. I think I tell you that. Okay, so since 19, 19, 97, 97, and uh, since um, okay, one five zero. Um, okay, uh, one thousand five hundred. I found down five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. I found a little score. I found the evening of the Okay. Wendy, repeat after me and say sins. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Okay. Remember four and sins. Okay. Four and sins. So, uh, Carlos Omar, help us reading the two examples that we have with four, and Abigail, the two examples that we have with sins. Okay. Example with four. I have worked here for three months. Okay. I have lived here for three years. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Abigail? Mm, yes. I. The two examples he, of things, yes. He has been here since 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. I have lived in New York since my childhood. Okay. Now let's see, guys, pronunciation, okay, pronunciation. So this one, it is worked, okay, worked. worked with T. So that means, guys, that we are going to add, like, for example, the sound should be worked, worked, yeah? No work it, it should be worked, yes? Then this one is going to be lived. Yeah, so then we also have this one, which is sins, okay? Not science, it should be sins. Why? Because sins, sins. yes, is for the present perfect. And if we say science, so that means that we are saying ciencia. And this is not ciencia, this is not science. This is desde, sins, yes? And the pronunciation for this one, which is Childhood. Childhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Childhood. Okay. Very Childhood. good. Yes. So now for a period of time, for 20 minutes, for three days, for six months, for four years, etc. Since, since 9 a.m., since Monday, since January, etc. So in this case, for is por and since means desde, yeah? Now I want you to create one example. I'll give you around 30 seconds for you to think, 
All right, think about an example and I'm going to ask you. Use for or since, yeah? Whatever you want, for or since, yes? You have 30 seconds for you to think. Think about an example, okay? Teacher. Yes. Since 16 zero zero. Since 16 oh oh. Oh oh. Yes. Oh. Correct. Okay. Um now give me one example sentence. I would like to listen to ideas. Okay, let me ask Emerson. He works since the years 1997. Okay, your example is partially correct, Emerson. Why? Because you have, um, you have, I would say, forgotten one important part of the present perfect. Look at your example sentence. What are you missing? Look at this example and look at your example. It's for you. Okay. Mm, he works a half for 10 years. Okay. He has. He has. The auxiliary verb. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, Tony Elias. Give us one example sentence. Yes, teacher. I have studied English since 2022. Excellent, but pronunciation, Tony. Studied. Study. Okay, study. Studied. Okay. okay, very good. Studied. Give us one example, Carla, Sofia. Mm. Yes, he, she has, uh, she has eaten, she has eaten for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, she has eaten for 10 minutes. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, thank you, Carla. Um, Luis Miguel, give us one example and then Maury. have to work work it for claro for three years okay uh just the pronunciation of work 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 uh, it's, i'm sorry yes. <laughs> work don't worry okay worked very good thank you morris i think that you are on mute morris She has been here. Sign. Pronunciation, Morris? Signs or sins? Very good. Sign. Sign. Sins. Okay. She has been here since uh, 10 a.m. Since 10 a.m. <laughs> Very good. All right, guys. Once again, right? Remember it. Pronunciation, sins, sins, okay. Sins. Worked, 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 yes. worked. worked. Yes, very good. Okay, guys. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear. No? Okay. So then help us reading the first examples, uh, Juan Jose, the positive examples. Carla, the negative ones. And Emerson, the questions, please. He has written five letters. Okay. 
I have worked hard this week. Okay. She has cooked cooked dinner. Very good. She has not writing five letters. I have no words hard this week. Perfect. She has not cooked dinner. Perfect. He's not writing five letters. Has a uh, good heart this week. Mm -hmm. Has she cooked dinner? Okay, very good. Thank you, Emerson. Okay, guys, this is um in general, okay, pronunciation. Um, this one is going to be written, 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 written. guys. Mm -hmm. A tip is the W, the W doesn't sound, it's silence. So the pronunciation mm -hmm. starts desde la R, desde aquí comienza la pronunciación. Entonces usted dice re, no dice gri, dice re, written, yes. Written. So she has written five letters. Yes. Re, desde la R. Este verbo, yes. incluso en presente, yes, que es write. No es write. Fíjese la pronunciación. Si yo digo, she has written five letters, aquí yo diga, she has written five letters. La pronunciación empieza desde la R. ¿Ok? No es de la W. La W no suena en este verbo. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? No suena la W. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Written. Re. Re. Um, written. 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 Yes. Sin, sin, sin pronunciar la T. Ajá. Written. 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 Ajá, muy bien. Excellent. She has written. 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 Uh -huh. Written. Written. Okay. Very good. So we have positive examples, negative mm -hmm. ones, and questions. Okay. Now, guys, the present perfect is used e, as, hemos, right? That is the present perfect in our language, right? So, Let's continue and let's ask, okay, and let's study about answers, yeah? So, for example, if we ask this question, have you, ¿cómo se pronuncia ese verbo? How do you pronounce it? Visited. Excellent. Visit. So, have you visited, have you visited New York? And how can you answer it? Yes, I have, or no, I, I haven't. haven't. Correct, okay? So, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Either or, if it is positive or if it is negative. Then we also have number two. Has she had dinner? Yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. So, you can see first... Uh, and second person and the third person answers. Yeah. If I ask Carlos Omar, have you eaten two apples today? Yes, I have. All right. Abigail, have you eaten fish today? Excuse me? Have you eaten fish today? I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Remember, you need to give complete answers. Uh, Maurice, have you played basketball today? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. George. Have you visited Tokyo today? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Roberto Esau, have you gone to the beach today? 
Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very good. Um, Abigail, have you written three letters today? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Very good. Perfect. Okay, guys. Do you have any doubt? Do you have any questions? Something that is not clear? If not, what we are going to do is that we are going to take, um, not the quizzes, okay? We are going to, let me see. We are going to play something. Let me see if we can play it, okay? So give me one second. Um, okay. Let's see if you can you can play this. Okay, I will send the 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 link. Okay, guys. Can you please go ahead and, and... No, I think that you won't be able to play it. Mm. Okay, so let's take the first quiz. The present perfect quiz. This one, okay? We're going to take that quiz right now. So... The link is the one that I sent on this chat here in Zoom for the ones that are on the spreadsheet. Vaya, para los que tal vez somos nuevos eh, haciendo este tipo de examen, le mandé el link aquí en el chat de Zoom. Entonces, es el mismo que está aquí. Mira el que dice Present Perfect Quiz 1. Ese es el link. Si usted le da clic sobre eh, el nombre, lo va a guiar al link del examen, le va a abrir esta pestaña así, fíjense bien entonces cuando usted ya esté en esta pestaña, quiero que ponga su nombre completo, full name nombre completo y cuál es el passcode que le pide el passcode o el access code es English 2023 pero tiene que poner ese código en letras mayúsculas así como está aquí, mire English 2023 porque si no, no lo va a dejar entrar Entonces, trata de ingresar y me dice si tiene dificultades. Ok, guys. Let me know if you were able to enter. Ready, Miss. Ready? Ok, go ahead and take it, ok? Tómelo. Tome ese examen. Teacher, we need to write all the sentence or only the verb in the past tense? Muy bien. Only the verb in past. Past participle. participle. Mm -hmm. Just the verb. Únicamente el verbo. Let me see. 
finish teacher okay thank you uh, wilbur hello wilbur hello teacher yes here um actually yes we are um in class already Wilbur. <laughs> I had a problem. I enjoyed uh, enjoyed uh, in a uh, module three. Oh my God! You were in another module. Yeah. <laughs> okay, As so you, you yeah you were asking. Oh my God! This is not where I belong to, right? <laughs> okay. Don't okay. worry. Yes, it is module two. Okay. Yes. Okay. We were waiting Same. for you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Wilbur Jonathan Bautista Aguilar, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes, okay, guys. Um, let me see. Let me see the scores. Okay, I got Aleida, Carlos Omar, Eduardo, George, Jose, Juan Jose, Carla, Luis Miguel, Nelly, Roberto, Sandra, Vladimir. Okay, I'm still missing some of you. Uh, I got Morris, okay. Okay, Juan Antonio. Very good, guys. Okay. Um. Okay, so now, yes, I think that we are going to be able to play what I actually told you, right? Okay, guys. Um, I think that you all finished, okay? So I will send this link, and this link is for you to take this quiz. You alone, okay? This is you alone. Go to that link, go to that link, and the link will ask you for a code. The code is 612128. Yes? It is different. Yes, that one is different. Okay. Yes, that one is different, guys. I Yes, I got Lily Beth, Carla, Emerson. I can see you. Okay, I'm going to start once we are... Um, and, okay, Juan Antonio, Vladimir, George, Luis Miguel. I'm missing some of you. Okay, Sandra, Juan Jose, Carlos. Okay. Uh, missing. Well, I'm missing some. Okay. Okay. I'm missing. Let me see. Okay, I see Maurice. I see Roberto. Who is the player 61, 21, 20, 28? I don't know. Well, 61, 21, 28 is the access code. Roberto Aleida Esmeralda. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right, guys. Okay. Is any anybody is uh missing? Anybody else that is going to join? Nobody. Okay. So let's start. This is about verbs. Okay. This is about verbs. Okay. I can see Bernardo, Pablo. Okay. Somebody else that is missing? Uh, teacher. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm still waiting for the uh, loading page. Oh, okay. I'm um, okay. So you haven't entered, right? Uh, no. Oh, no, but I can see that you are there, Bernardo. I mean, I, I haven't started the quiz. I'm just waiting for you to join the, the quiz, right? I see Atilio. I see Pablo. Well, I think that we are ready, guys. Okay, so here we go.
right? You know, I can see that, uh, well, one of you have answered all of them correctly, we just one. Then the other ones, yes. I can see that some of you answer all of them, but not correctly, okay? But it's okay. The, the thing is that you need to learn, right? But okay, very good. Yes, I, I can see, Sandra, that actually, yes, you got 100 right there, okay? Very good. Okay, guys, excellent. Okay, so now let's move and let's take the listening. Now, yes, the listening, please. Okay, let me let me share the link. Okay, let me share the link. All right. Um, the link for the listening quiz is the one that says listening quiz. If you are on the spreadsheet, it says listening quiz. Okay, that's the link. Entonces, uh, this one, the one that I'm going to send here. Ya se lo mandé ahí. ¿Y cuál es el código? Esta vez el código va a ser listening. En letra mayúscula. Capital letter. Capital letter, okay? Once you are in, let me know, please, because I need to play the audio. Usted no va a escuchar el audio en el examen. Yo lo voy a, a reproducir para todos. Okay, let me know once you are ready. I'm ready to check. Okay, perfect. Ready? Ready? Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready. Okay. ready. Perfect. Okay, guys. So, okay, here we go. Pay attention. I'm going to play this listening. Um, I'm going to play it three times, okay? Three times. So pay attention, pay attention. Here we go. Tired of waiting for a web page to download? Then sign up for the hottest broadband highway to the internet from Impact Solutions. We provide you with unlimited monthly access, 24-7 technical support, 30 megabytes of free web space for your personal or business site, and content filters to protect your family from objectionable material. Pricing starts at $29.95 a month. And with no setup fees, you'll be roaring through the corridors of cyberspace. Well, in time for when you really should be asleep. Contact Impact Solutions today to get the most out of your online experience. Okay, guys, this is an advertising, okay? So, once again, here we go. Tired of waiting for a web page to download? Then sign up for the hottest broadband highway to the internet from Impact Solutions. We provide you with unlimited monthly access, 24-7 technical support, 30 megabytes of free web space for your personal or business site and content filters to protect your family from objectionable material. Pricing starts at $29.95 a month. And with no setup fees, you'll be roaring through the corridors of cyberspace. Well, in time for when you really should be asleep. Contact Impact Solutions today to get the most out of your online experience. Okay. So the last time, okay, the last time. Tired of waiting for a web page to download? Then sign up for the hottest broadband highway to the internet from Impact Solutions. We provide you with unlimited monthly access, 24-7 technical support, 
30 megabytes of free web space for your personal or business site and content filters to protect your family from objectionable material. Pricing starts at $29.95 a month. And with no setup fees, you'll be roaring through the corridors of cyberspace. Well, in time for when you really should be asleep. Contact Impact Solutions today to get the most out of your online experience. Okay, ready? No. No. No? I, okay. I, I, I don't listen to the hours. Okay. okay. Um, yes, guys. Yeah, on this one, either. yes, on mm -hmm. this one, um, on this one, guys, they won't mention exactly the hour. You need to infer. Tiene que inferir usted, all right? You need to use your logical thinking, okay? So oh. here, yeah, here we go again, okay? Let me play it. Tired of waiting for a web page to download? Then sign up for the hottest broadband highway to the internet from Impact Solutions. We provide you with unlimited monthly access, 24 7 technical support, 30 megabytes of free web space for your personal or business site, and content filters to protect your family from objectionable material. Pricing starts at $29.95 a month. And with no setup fees, you'll be roaring through the corridors of cyberspace. Well, in time for when you really should be asleep. Contact Impact Solutions today to get the most out of your online experience. Okay. All right. Okay. So, submit your answers, okay? Submit your answers. Okay. I got very good. Let me see. Let me see if you fail on that one. Okay. Okay. Very good. I can see that. Um, okay. Most of you got 100. Okay. Perfect. I fail one. You fail one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. All right. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Um, was it difficult? I think that a little bit, right? Difficult. It was no difficult, difficult because of the of the sound, probably, right? Yeah, yes. Many noise. Yes, that is correct. But that was part of the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Now let's move to the following activity, okay? What we need to do is that we need to unscramble the sentence. Unscramble the sentence, okay? Can you please unscramble sentence number one? Create a sentence, unscramble it. Mm -hmm. Rearrange the sentence in the correct way. We need we to- We have read. seven. We have- we have saved our Same. document. Excellent. Number two. We have turned off uh -huh. the printer. Okay. We long off. And we? Uh, and we long off. Okay, very good. Number three. I have put on mm -hmm. the chair. Not exactly. No. Put on the speaker. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have, okay. I have put on the speaker. The speakers? The shelf. Mm, you are missing one word. Mm -hmm. On shelves. On, on shelves. Shelf. Okay. 
Number four. I have finished. I have finished. And I printed it. Mm -hmm. My homework. I know I have finished my homework. Mm, perfect. Uh -huh. And yes. I printed it. Excellent. Number five, the last one. She has saved her document Muy bien. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the meaning of stick? Okay. Memory stick. Okay, very good. The driver. Yes. So, mm -hmm. she has said, yes, and um, her documents on a stick memory. Mm -hmm. The other way around. She has um, stick on memory. Memory stick. Ah, memory stick. <laughs> That's a name, okay? Yes. Okay. Very good. So, um, memory stick. Yeah, on a memory stick. Huh? Okay. Let's move. All right. Put the words in the right order. Number one, letter A. I haven't finished my homework yet. Very good. Let it be. I have. I have done. Done. Done my homework done already. My done. Mm -hmm. Let her see. I have finished. I have finished my homework. My homework just. No. Uh, not exactly. I have just. I have just. Ma finished. Finished. Just finished my homework. Excellent. I have just finished my homework. Mm. Let it be. He has he gone. gone. Already. Excellent. Yes. Let it be. Mark, Mark has, has come back from friends. I oh, know, I don't know. Mark, Mark, Mark has, yes. just, Mark just has yes. come back from mm -hmm. friends. 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 Letter S. They have bought. They have, bought. They have uh, just. They have just. No, both. A new house. A new a house. house. Excellent. They have just bought a new house. house. Letter G. We haven't, we haven't had, had, had lunch yet. Lunch yet. Lunch. Letter H. Teacher, have a question. Letter yeah. F. Yes. When you. When you explain the past participle and the and the um, uh, unfinished tense expression, yes, you, you told us about the the um, the the word just jet already is at the end of the of the, um, the structure in, in in the in the sentence, mm -hmm. but in the letter F, you say they have just a new how they, they have yes. they have they have both just a new house mm -hmm. is not just at the end of the sentence 
No, it is no, Tony. In this case, thank you very much for your question. And that is a good question. So now with just, in this case, it, um, it won't go at the end of the sentence. Just must go in the middle of the main verb and the auxiliary. So that's why it should be, they have just bought. Yeah, it should be in the middle. Yeah, they have just bought a new house. Because if we add just at the end of the sentence, it wouldn't make sense, right? So with just, we need to be careful and it is a special because we cannot add just at the end. We can add already at the end. We can add jet at the end, but just cannot be at the end, okay? So that is going to be um, something about the position of the adverb, yeah? And uh, we just, we need to be careful. Yes, very good question, all right? So in this case, just goes in the middle of bought and have. So they have just bought a new house. Very good. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, what about num letter H? The train has left the station already. Very good. And letter I. This is a question. Look at, at the question mark. Has the train left yet? Excellent. Has the train left yet? Very good. Uh -huh. Any other doubt that you may have right now? Not right now, guys. Okay. No? Yes? Not for me, teacher. It's okay. Okay. Somebody else? Do you have any doubt? No? Okay. All right. Before we go, well, before we go, I just need to mention this just for you to, um, to be ready, okay? Um... Where is it? Give me one second. Yes, this one. Okay, guys, as you can see right here, we have the feedback information. Yes? On this tab, you see intermediate and we have, um, oh, okay. So here I'm going to, yeah. So we have feedback information. And in this case, we have your names. Yes? So today, the feedback, um, the one-on-one -on -one is for Aleida Esmeralda. The winner. Okay, teacher. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, yes. So please stay with me. Once I uh, finish the class, you stay with me. Okay, Aleida? Yes. Next on me. <laughs> Next, uh, yes, and, and so on. So you can see when you are going to have your feedback, okay? You can see right here, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so now, uh, before we go, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Now, um, okay, so can somebody tell me a tourist attraction you have never visited in our country? Something that is so popular, but you haven't visited in our country. I have never visited Los Chorros. Really? Yes, really. My God, okay. Okay. It's a goal for this year. <laughs> oh my God, Juan Jose, okay. <laughs> you have never visited Los Chorros, okay? Never. I've okay. never visited the, the, the Pita, Pital. Pital? Ah, you oh have God. never visited the Pital? Oh my God, guys, really? Yeah, it's so sad. But it is it is nice. It is uh really cold. Yes. Now something you have never understood. Something that you have never understood. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I have never understood when read the pictures, read the art pictures. Ah, yes, that is true. Some people can actually read art, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Me neither, Juan Jose. Okay. So, all right. Mm. Well, um, there are many things that probably you have never understood, right? Well, tomorrow we are going to continue with this part, okay? Because today we didn't go and practice. So tomorrow, yes, we will. All right. So um, thank you very much for joining, guys. All right. Um, we hope this module um, can help you out to improve your grammar skills, your speaking skills, everything in general. Okay. So nice to meet you all. And good to see my previous uh, group. Right. So thank you very much for joining today. You may go ahead and rest. Okay. Just please, Aleida, stay with me. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Good night, good night everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. Good night, guys. Thank good you. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Um, Aleida? Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. What about you? I'm okay. You know, I'm really happy because we are starting a new module. So this one is going to be a new challenge for you all, right? So I think that it will be great because most of you already participate, right? Most of you already speak the language and that is something good, right? Teacher. Yes, Wilbur. Teacher, <laughs> may you explain you the homework because I didn't hear. <laughs> um, yes, Wilbert. You know, eh, vaya, Wilbert. Como creo que no estuvo en la clase porque estaba en otra clase que no era la clase de nosotros. Eh, la grabación queda, eh, básicamente la voy a subir el día de ahora y usted puede ver todo lo que discutimos al principio, ¿sí? Entonces okay. le voy a mandar el link de la grabación al grupo de WhatsApp para que usted pueda ver el video, ¿sí? Sí, es que me metí en un grupo de WhatsApp, pero del módulo 3. Yeah. No sé cómo es que me pareció eso. Ajá, correcto, Wilber. Porque probablemente hubo alguna confusión, Wilber. Pero yo le voy a mandar el link para que usted pueda ver el, todo lo que hemos hablado. Ah, yeah, ok. Ok, de igual manera el día de mañana voy a volver a explicar al inicio de la clase para que usted esté pendiente y se conecte pues, en esta clase, ok, en este link. Ok. Okay, Wilbert. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. See you. See you. Okay, Aleida. Uh, okay, so then, um, you know, this is a new adventure for you all. So that is so good that you all can uh, speak the language and everything, right? So I would like to know about you, Aleida. I would like to know about your, your English background, right? Where you have studied the English language. Why? Are you interested in, in learning the language, right? And what are the things that you encounter most difficult, etc.? Okay, thank you, teacher. So in my case, I studied English at Prolingua. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was four years ago, maybe, or maybe five. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, and I, and currently, I'm working with Real Money Transfer. There is a company working with the United States yeah. in agencies to the money transfer. But the thing is uh, that I think that I don't have a, a fluency, the, the fluency that I really need. Okay. And maybe I need to, to learn more vocabulary. And it... Uh, learn to uh, structure better um, the, my ideas. Okay. Because sometimes I start to um, thinking about thinking in Spanish to translate that in English. That is maybe my mistake. Yes. Sometimes, not all the time, because sometimes if I am uh, working all the days or every day in in English or thinking in that idea is easier for me, but there are other ideas that I don't have clear because 
um, it's, it's not uh, maybe the, the same language that I am uh, using in the all the days because in my work it's easier for me because all every day I am uh, practicing that language about okay. the banks, about reconcil reconciliation, about numbers, about uh, <laughs> is in, in my work. But uh, if I want to express another kind of ideas that is uh, in that point that I think in Spanish and then I translate in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, so probably it's like in the in a more general context, right? That sometimes mm -hmm. you find that type of difficulty, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. All right, awesome. So tell me about your hobbies. What do you do in your free time? So in my free times, okay, I don't have a lot of free time because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I work from, a, let me check, um, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have two free days during the week, one in the weekend and another in, in, in the week. Okay. And so mm, maybe my hobbies is I really like to go out because I really like to uh, go to the like, climbable canoe or a mountain. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I really like to do that. And have you have you climbed Santa Ana's volcano? Yes, I have it. I have okay. it. I really love it. Yeah. Okay. So that means that you do enjoy nature. Yeah, I really love it. I enjoy okay. it to do that because every day I am in the office in a in a built in a building. Building? Yeah, in a, yeah, in a building. And I love when I can um spend time uh, with the nature and breathe <laughs> fresh um, air. Fresh air, yeah. Right. All right, perfect. And what do you prefer, the beach or the mountain? It depends because I think the beach, you can go to the beach every weekend if you want because mm -hmm. you go to the beach and you don't need to do anything. Only uh, be, be acostado, I'm sorry. Lay down? Lay down in the, in the sand yeah. or in the in an hammock, uh, no, hammock, I know this. In a, in a hammock? Hammock, yeah, in a hammock. Yeah, but it's different in the mountain because in the mountain you need to walk uh, mm -hmm. to get in the, cl in the climb, I think. And you, 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 you climb, yes, up to the top. You need to yeah. reach the top. Yes. Okay, so that means that you are going to move your body, right? So you are going to do exercise. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. okay. It's totally different. Sometimes I really like it to go to the mountain, but uh, it's a different experience. It is a different experience. And I think, well, I think that, yes, um, you know, nowadays with this type of, you know, it is really warm. It is really hot. The yes. sun actually burns your skin so fast. So I think that going to the beach is not that, I would say, smart, right? So I think that probably, in my the case, mountain. I do think that going to the mountain is better sometimes than going to the beach, right? But it depends on your type of uh, likes, right? So very good. Then, Aleida, let me ask you something, okay? I know that this is going to be the first class that you have had with us, right? But I would like to know, uh, your opinion what do you think about the dynamic of the class so far uh we didn't actually do all of the activities that we had for today because of the time and because we needed to cover different things at the beginning but i would like to know what do you think so far about our class right uh for me it's a different experience than the other classes it's my first time with you but i really like it because it was very um dynamic Okay. Because you are not only speaking, you are doing different um activities. For example, uh, the listening, it was very important for me because um we are in the, in the other classes, we only listen to the teacher yes. and we don't have another different listening. In this case, it's different because you um, learn 
to hear a uh, different accent. accent. Yes. yes. And then the other one is the quizzes. The, the, the quizzes are very interesting for me too, because you know uh, better if, what is your, what are your mistakes? Yes. And what do you need to improve? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I really love it. It's very dynamic. And I think if you have, um, for example, in the, in the, in the previous course, the other teacher, yes, is is correct. <laughs> he always sent us to the um break room. The room. Mm -hmm. break room. Yeah, but sometimes it was very uh okay, what are we going to do? We need help. <laughs> and in this case, my congratulations for you because it's very different. And okay. this is that I really, I really hope uh, or I really wait, sorry, for no expect, I think is the I right. Yeah, I really expect from from you because we need to interact more. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, right? So thank you very much, Aleida. You know, um, our classes, at least with me, right, are designed for you to learn because sometimes, I, and I do understand what you mean when, yeah, you said the teacher always sent us to breakout rooms and we didn't know what we were going to do, right? And all of those things. And you are right. But in my class, um, it's not like that, right? If I send you to the breakout rooms, it's because of something, because we always have a purpose. You always have the things that you are going to do. And I already explained once I send you, I have explained mm -hmm. before, right? What you are going to do. So you don't have like any type of doubt. Maybe the ones that have doubts are the ones that probably are not focused on the class, right? Or are not paying attention. But if you are focused on the class, so you are going to actually have a very good time with our classes because you will see that we learn a lot and we always do one or two quizzes and sometimes three quizzes per day because I think that that is a way as you said before to know what are your mistakes and it's not only me finding out it's all, all um, as well you right so I think that um, that is going to be really important for you to learn and for you to probably improve your grammar right? Because I know that sometimes, you know, what I think, Aleida, is that you only need to probably uh, get more vocabulary and fluency, right? And okay. probably grammar, right? But mm -hmm. I think that you need to work just on fluency, and that means speaking, right? Speaking, mm -hmm. but getting feedback, right? So, oh, okay. yes, um, I really hope to be able to um, actually correct all of your mistakes, Right. So in this case, um, I would like you to maybe participate once I ask for volunteers, try to say me. Right. Because in that way, I'm going to be able to correct if you okay. make mistakes. Okay. Right. And all of that. And you are going to be able to express your ideas. And in that way, I'm going to listen to you because, you know, you are around 20, 21. So sometimes once we are in the same room. I cannot listen to all of you because if not, it is going to be kind of boring, right? Like, okay, so go first you, then you, and then you, and then you, and then we are losing time. So that's why uh, sometimes, yes, we are going to have the breakout rooms, but it is going to be for 20, 15 minutes or probably 10 minutes. It depends, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's going to be longer, but because you are going to be working on something, all right? But yes, don't worry, Alita, because uh, you are on good hands right okay, so you're going you to so learn <laughs> right. yeah something that i i really appreciate and i like from you is because you have a good fluency and for me it's perfect and that is going to pushing me up to to speak fast <laughs> yes that is correct okay so mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Aleida. Okay. Then don't if you don't have any questions, all right. So if you don't have any question, we're going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Perfect. Have thank a good you. Rest. Take care. Have a good night. Okay. Take you care. Thank you. Bye-bye.